Hi, this is Julie with Be Holic, and today I want to show you how to cover a brass cuff, which you'll see right here, with a Lily Pilly copper sheeting. A couple different ways of doing this. You can see this one, I've covered the entire cuff, and then this one, I've actually left a border. So I'm going to show you how to do both of these techniques. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a brass cuff, and you'll see here they're nice and smooth and flat. There's several different types of brass cuffs on the market today. Some have a rounded top to them. You don't want to use those for this particular application. You want ones which are flat. And these do come in a variety of sizes. You're going to need some Lily Pilly Copper. And these are great because they're long enough to go all the way around the cuff. And I have one here that is embossed. You can see the pretty pattern to it. And I have another one which actually has the same patina finish, but it's smooth, it's not embossed. And these actually come in a cardboard sleeve, and you're going to want to keep that as well because you're going to be using it for this project. Then the other items you're going to need is you're going to need some E6000 glue. You're going to need a pad to put your glue on and something to apply your glue. I've just got some spare pieces of wire, but a toothpick would work well as well. I have some hair bands. If you have rubber bands, that's great too. And what you're going to do is when the time comes, you're going to put these over your copper so that it holds it in place while it dries. You're going to need a pen. You're also going to need a ruler. Uh, I have a little diamond file right here. Fine grit sandpaper will work as well. You might or might not need this depending on how your project goes. We're just going to use a regular pair of scissors to be cutting our copper sheets. Do not use your good sewing scissors for this. If you have a craft scissor, use that. Make sure that they're sharp and that they work well. You don't want them shredding the copper, but I would not recommend using scissors that you use for, say, cutting silk or anything like that. And then at the very end of this project, I am going to show you how to actually embellish a cuff a little bit. So I've got some of these fun little gears, and I have a pair of bracelet bending pliers. You can see it's actually curved, and that's going to help us curve these gears so that they'll fit onto our brass cuff nicely. So the first technique I want to show you is actually covering the entire cuff. So I'm going to pick a size, and I think I will do this size right here. And so I'm going to put the other ones aside for now, and I'm going to start with the embossed sheet. So go ahead, turn your embossed sheet over, and look at how your cuff is going to fit on it. And I want you to leave an edge of oh, about a fourth of an inch, and then go ahead and just make a mark that's about the same amount away on the other side, so about a fourth of an inch. We're not being precise right here by any means. We're just leaving enough of a border that we're going to make sure that the entire cuff is going to be covered and we don't have to worry. If you want to be precise, you definitely can be, but you don't need to be. So I've made three marks, and now I'm just going to take my ruler line it up against those marks, and draw a line. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my scissor, and I'm just going to cut right through the copper. And double check that I have plenty of room, and I do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my E6000, and for this particular application, I'm going to put it right on my cuff. Now I'm going to take my whatever applicator tool you want, and I'm going to spread it out. Now I want it to go pretty much to the edge, but I don't want it to overflow and spill over when I put my copper on. So I want it to go to the edge, but I don't want it to be thick at the edge, if that makes sense. If you've seen my other videos, you probably have seen me use my fingers a lot of times to spread glue. Do not do that with E6000. It's far too strong of a glue, and it's going to stick to your fingers, and it's going to be really hard to get off of them. 
and it's not very good for your skin either. So just use an applicator for this instance. And the E6000 does dry relatively quickly. So once you've got your glue spread on there, go ahead, put your copper sheet on there and leave a lip if you can see this. There we go. Just so that it's definitely exceeding the edge of your brass cuff. And then just walk it around and over and make sure when you look at this that every part of your brass cuff is covered in copper. So now push it together, press the Lily Pilly onto the brass cuff and you're actually spreading out the glue even more when you're doing this. And then I find I actually like to bend in just a little bit the edge right here. Now what you want to do is you want to take a rubber band, or in this case a hair band, put it over your cuff, and I'm actually going to take a second one and do the same. And I'm going to let that dry. E6000 does take a little while to do a really good strong permanent bond. I'm going to let this dry for a couple hours, and then I'm going to come back and trim it. So that is good to go for now. And as that's drying, I wanna show you how to do this technique here where we're just going to leave a nice border. So again, we're just gonna pick a cuff. I'm going to go ahead and pick the wide one again because I think that looks really nice with the border. And this one you have to be a little bit more precise. You have to decide how big of a border you want and how big of a piece to cut then. So as you can see, this cuff is about two inches. And for this panel here, I left about between an eighth and a fourth of an inch on each side. I think for this design here, I wanna leave a good full fourth of an inch on each side. So I'm gonna cut the center panel to be an inch and a half. So once you've established that, go ahead, take your, your sheet, turn it upside down again. And this time, instead of just doing those marks, which were kind of random, they worked, but I wasn't being too precise. I'm actually going to measure an inch and a half here. So I'm just going to line up my ruler against one edge and make a little dot at an inch and a half intervals. Okay. I'm going to line up my dots and draw a line. Again, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut along my line. Be careful, this is sharp, so just you know, watch out what you're doing. You don't want to cut yourself on the edge as well, so just keep that in mind. It is a piece of metal. So for this one, what we want is we want to be able to line it up and then you see it's going to come all the way around. So I'm not going to trim the edges. I'm just going to go ahead now and put, instead of putting the glue on the brass cuff, I'm going to put the glue on the back of my copper. And again, I don't want to spill over, so I'm just going to put it in the middle. spread it out. That got a little close to the edge, so I'm just going to take that glob and position it elsewhere. And you'll notice I'm not going all the way to the edge, and that's because the glue will spread out when I flatten it. So at this point, Flip it over, hold it on the edges. And I know it's gonna go over the side by just a little. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to start with. 
Make sure I have an even border on either side. And I'm just holding it in place on one end and I'm walking it around. Press it down into place. And again, I'm just going to press down on the edges a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take again my hair tie, or if you have a rubber band, put it over it, and you'll notice it'll start to slip around. And that's another advantage to just having put that glue in the middle section and not having spread it to the edge, because you're going to adjust this one final time once both of your bands are on. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna let this one dry as well for a couple hours. Then I'll come back, I'll show you how to trim up the edges, and on this one, of course, how to trim it completely, and then also how to add some embellishments. We've been patient and we've waited a couple hours for these to dry. And now we can take our bands off, but first I want to show you one thing. So there was a little too much E6000 on the back side of this copper piece and it squished out the end. Now what you can do is when this is dry, you can just go and peel it off. And then if you just rub your brass blank, it'll get rid of a little bit of discolorization that the glue will cause. So you can just do that on both sides. Or if you do have this happen, you might not but it's good to know that you can just take your fingernail and scrape it away and inspect your piece. A little bit came out here too, so just taking my fingernail. Now, you just go ahead and you remove the bands. And now for these edges, I'm just going to take my scissor and I'm going to line up the scissor against the side of the cuff and I'm just gonna follow the cuff and snip the copper away. You want to make sure you don't have any rough edges. We're going to do that on both sides. Okay, now this is a really important part because you don't want any rough edges because this is where you're going to be putting the cuff on. So you want to take, if you have any rough edges, you guys see I have a little piece of metal right there. I definitely want to peel that off. And then if you do have any rough edges, you want to take a diamond file or some fine grit sandpaper and just sand it. You can see that that helps to take any of those rough edges right off. and you would just do that on both sides and that would complete your cuff with a border on the edge. So that is one that's done. Now for the second one, again, once it's dry, just go ahead, take off the bands and look and inspect and see if any of the glue came out the edges here. If it did, before you start cutting this, just peel it away. It's gonna make it easier to cut through the copper. So now to cut this, what you're going to wanna do is again, just line your scissor edge up with the cuff edge. And we're just going to cut along the edge. You'll see how easy this is cutting. The copper is just coiling away and we're gonna be left with a nice neat edge. The advantage to doing it this way versus pre-measuring and trying to fit it exact is that you run the risk of it not lining up right and then you having a gap and the brass cuff showing through the front. So to do the inside edge here, we're just going to go ahead, again, line it up and snip it off. Okay, and now we're gonna do the other side, same way.
All right, so at this point, what you want to do with this piece is you want to make sure that the copper is fully attached to the brass. And I see that I do have a little bit here that has popped up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead, take a little bit of my E6000, And I'm just going to carefully peel this back without actually creating a crease in the copper. And go ahead and put a little bit more glue there. And because this is already glued down and shaped, it's going to hold its shape okay. I don't need to go ahead and put more bands on it or anything. If a little bit comes out, that's fine. Just let it dry and then peel it away as you saw earlier in the video. So you might have some rough edges here and this is when the cardboard comes in handy that came with your Lily Pilly sheet. So I like to actually take the cardboard and press it against the Lily Pilly, the edge of it, and pull away. And what that's doing is that's helping get rid of some burrs. It's also helping to just push that copper against the edge of the cuff. And I'm just going to do that on both sides. And I'm applying it pretty good amount of pressure here. It's just what it's doing is anywhere where we have an instance like this where, especially with the embossed pieces, it sometimes looks like there's a little gap. What this does is it just smooths it out and it gets it so that it looks nice and flush. So then go back, lightly take your finger, and again this might be sharp so do not apply much pressure, and if you feel anywhere that has a really rough edge, just take a diamond file or some fine grit sandpaper and file it away. So that is how you cover a brass cuff completely in Lily Pilly Copper Sheeting. And this is how you cover one and leave a border. And then I did tell you we were going to go ahead and show you how to put on an embellishment. So I've got these great little gears here. And I love these. They're very steampunk. And these two I have actually already gently curved, but these are flat. And you'll see that if you try to put a flat piece on there, it's just not going to look right. So what you're going to want to do is you can, if you happen to have bracelet bending pliers handy, you can just put these little stampings into the bracelet bending pliers between the jaws. And it's just going to help you to gently start a curve. You just are pressing down. And so now, it just has a slight curve to it, and you can even curve it a little bit more with your fingers if you want. Now it's going to lay a little bit flatter. So there, it just looks like it sits better on it. So to embellish, you're just going to do that. You're going to curve it a couple times. And then you'll just decide what type of pattern you want. And then you'll just take some E6000 glue. And we're just going to put it on the back side. Try not to use too much glue for this because you really don't want it spilling out too much on the front side. Just use what you need to. And then go ahead and lay it down onto your cuff and press it into place. And I would actually recommend letting that dry before you go on and do the next one because what you're probably going to do is you're going to end up curving your cuff so that it will be whatever ones you're gluing on next is going to be able to glue in an upright position so it doesn't slide off like that. And just keep doing that until you have all the embellishments you want and then you'll just let the whole piece fully dry overnight before you want to start wearing it. And that is all that is involved in embellishing a cuff and in going ahead and making a cuff with a border and then fully covering a cuff with the Lily Pilly Copper Sheets. And these projects can be seen on BeadaHolique.com in the free projects section.